When you scan your sample with high magnification lens, quite often it doesn't fit into acquisition area. And there is a very good solution for it called tile scan. Um, tile scan allows you to scan your sample piece by piece, tile by tile, and then you can stitch these tiles together into one big image. And in Zen 2 software, tile scan has a lot of really, really awesome features. You can activate the tile scan over here, you check in this box, and this menu becomes available. And for example, here in options, you can define how much your tiles will overlap. 10% uh, is usually enough, but if you have problem uh, stitching your tiles together into a smooth picture, you should increase the percentage here. Uh, you can also define uh, here uh, the way the stitch will move, and meander fits usually most of the cases, and you can sort your tiles in a different way. Um, and you defined, define your uh, tile scan area uh, by using here the simple setups or by using the advanced setup. So I will try to scan uh, this humongous sample first by using the sim simple setups. And let's see what happens. Um, here uh, you use the contour uh, option and you define the size of the contour by telling the software either the number of tiles and let's say I want to start my tile scan here and then um, wild guess I want five by five tiles and when I click on plus uh, it adds my tile region over here, and it will be 25 tiles. Uh, this will be the area covered by these tiles, and I can also change the name of my tile, and I will call it tiles. And let's see if I guessed right. Start experiment. And not even close. Um, you can see if you zoom in especially the borders between the tiles and this is why you want stitching and you can find the stitching option in the processing over here under geometric stuff it's called stitching and it has quite a lot of uh, parameters you can tweak but usually the automatic stitching works quite nicely so if you go to the new output and check in few styles and correct shading and click on apply you should get quite a nice smooth image. And this is unstitched original file. So back to the tile options over here. Um, another way to define the size of the contour is literally typing in the size you want to scan. And I think the size is quite good but I'm a little bit off with the edges. I'll start here this time. And I will keep the size and click on plus here. And here's my new tile region. I will call it size. Um, all the tile regions which are checked in here will be scanned as soon as I click on start experiment. And I don't want to rescan this one, so I will uncheck it. And I missed it again. Okay, uh, the third option here is called stake. And the, here software wants from you reference points between which uh, the tiles will be placed. And uh, what you need to do, you need to go live. And then you just add the marker positions. And the software will automatically calculate how many tiles you need to cover the area between the marker positions. So let's hope this time I will get it plus. Another marker position. And done with marker positions. Stop. So here is my tile region made with a stake option, and it includes 16 tiles. 
Let's see what this looks like. Oh shit. Almost there. Now uh, it scanned two tiles regions because I forgot to unclick this one. And each tile region is called scene and you can actually scroll between two of them over here. And if you go to processing and try to stitch them, you will get one big file with both scenes neatly stitched. And you can also see split channels for each of them. Okay, so this is um, what you can do in the tile regions. And if you are not very much into guessing what should be the size of your scan uh, scanning area, you can go to advanced setup and make it easier for yourself. So when I click on advanced setup, um, live scan kicks in automatically um, and it will allow you to define how big your sample is by making a quick live scan and then you can play with uh, other options. So uh, I would like to make a selection for the quite a big area and then to check if my sample actually fits into it. And it doesn't. It moves very quickly. You can zoom in and zoom out by scrolling on the mouse. And I can change the size of my selection by just dragging the corners of it. I'm moving the acquisition area by using the joystick, which you can see. And let's go to the left border. Here's my sample. This gives you a very nice overview of your sample. I think it fits. I can't believe it. Finally. Um, what I also can do here is to perform a preview scan here. I can select a smaller magnification lens to speed up uh, the scanning. So if I click here and start preview scan, I will get an overview image of my sample and then I can draw different contours for other tile scans I would like to perform. Here is my preview image and if you can hear it, uh, Confocal automatically switched back to the 20x magnification lens which I was using before. Um, on my preview image I can select uh, areas which I would like to scan. For example, I want to scan this one and I can use a round selection for this area and I can use this awesome option, it's a polygon selection you can make of any shape you like and you close it by making right click on the mouse and the software automatically calculates how many scanning areas will you need to, how many tiles you will need to cover this area. Um, I can just unclick this one. So now I have three regions which I selected on the previous scan and I just click on start experiment and wait for the result. And so each of this selection is scanned as a separate scene and they are all here and you can scroll between them. And stitch them here in the processing. And I can go back to the my preview image by just clicking on advanced setup. When your sample is not absolutely flat, uh, making tile scans becomes quite tricky because parts of your tile will be out of focus and only part will be in focus. And in the Zen 2 software you can actually compensate for it by using focus surface. And focus surface will ask you to first select um, the region you would like to scan. Let's say I want to scan the whole pancake.
and um, then you can go live and pick the areas uh, on which you want to uh, verify the the focal plane and then you will use these uh, areas as support points and you can see here there are different options uh, to define your focus surface so I will go with the simplest one click on live and then I can go anywhere on the sample by using joystick and moving scanning area um, and I can zoom in to verify the focus by just scrolling on the mouse but then I will have to zoom out again to go to another place an alternative way to do it is to click here live and separate container and it will give you here a zoomed in image like this and in dimensions I can also play with what channel I would like to use to define the focus so let's say this one is good enough I click on plus here and here is my support point and then I move to another place and well this pancake is pretty flat mm -hmm. another support point Okay, that's enough. Um, and now when I will make a tile scan, uh, the software will uh, gradually interpolate the Z position for each tile based on the support points I provided. And start experiment. And here is my all-in-focus pancake. And voila. Um, that's pretty much it to begin with tiles. Have fun.